$250,000 buy-in tournament with over $5 million for the winner. The biggest event at the World Series of Poker this year in Vegas, featuring some of the biggest and best stars poker has to offer. But the event has been surrounded in controversy due to one man accused of cheating in this very event, Martin Cabrillo. He's been accused of marking cards in this event and today we're going to take a deep dive into exactly what happened. What's up? It's the Irish man. Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to take a look at the 250k buy-in at the World Series of Poker and one player in particular. Martin Cabrell has been accused of cheating in this event. By now many of you will have seen many posts on social media from various players speaking out about their thoughts on the incidents that have happened. There have been posts on 2 plus 2 on Reddit and even mainstream news outlets have picked up on the story. I think when the staggering amount of money involved and cheating is suspected, it's hard to keep your eyes away from it. Cabral definitely had some suspicious behavior in this tournament regularly handling cards very weird especially the ace of spades standing up claiming he was looking at people's chip stacks for a count but it looked like he was very closely looking at their cards so if you can see here he's standing up to get a good look at what he claims is the chip stacks but could very easily be looking for markings on the cards Martin himself is a player who likes to play the game and put people on tilt. He's very vocal at the table. He definitely rubs people up the wrong way. This in itself is not cheating or breaking any rules, but it's definitely one factor of why people don't like playing with him. And then when he starts to do some of the weird stuff he's been doing, it definitely puts more eyeballs on him for this fact. Let's take a look at some of Martin's table talk. I'm speaking with my friend Ola. Can you be quiet? Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> my friend. You win. I think you After win. After you go all in, I think you win. He's trying to talk him into it. I think it. correct. Mm. I can't see many, most of your chips. Yeah, but I have more than you, yeah? I have to know. <laughs> so it doesn't matter, right? I think it, yeah. if it doesn't matter, why do you ask kind of everyone every hand? I don't know. Now while table talk and generally being a prick at the table isn't against the rules, we've seen some players successfully in implement it into their game, such as Will Kasuf when he had that run in 2016. He got a lot of media attention for his table talks. And while gonna be super annoying at the table with him, it arguably makes entertaining viewing for casual TV viewers, which is probably what poker wants. It definitely needs villains, but it definitely does not need cheaters. So we're gonna take a look at a hand he played after handling the ace of spades quite heavily. He ends up running a pretty sick bluff. You, you know, but, but Al just said, you know what, I'm just all in. And then he said, if you wanna be a jack off, I'll be a jack off, <laughs> you know, so. Fight between Martin Cabral and Alvin Carolas. I'm taking Al 100% oh. of the time. I'll, I would take Al against five Martin Cabrales. <laughs> <laughs> Four of them would be too busy calling for the floor while the other one was getting beat up. Martin Rosie raising it up to 350. Cabral calling from the big blind. Cabral checking on the swap. Martin Rosie collects, for, sorry, continues for 235. And here comes the check raise. I'm not so sure I, you know, Martirosian is the guy I'd want to be check raising. <laughs> he seems like somebody who's <laughs> not necessarily going to just be given up very easily. We'll see how he wants to continue here. Yeah. Though. Wow. There it is. I told you. I mean, he's not... Martin, Martin Rosian is not one to be messed with. Makes it 1.9 million. Action now back on Cabral. All right, Martin, what you got? We're down to the final 16 players. The final 11 will get paid, so massive implications here. A misstep could be very costly. Cabral doing some bookkeeping here, trying to figure out how much Martirosian has. I wonder if he's seriously considering making a move here, which I would highly applaud. 
Wow! Clicks it back! Martin Cabrell! Out of nowhere! Ladies and gentlemen, did you just see that? $15,000. No, euros. Euros. Wow! Now, if you don't watch or play a lot of poker, this may just look like two guys bluffing each other. But if you look at it a bit more in depth, this is just not generally a thing. Clicking it back with a four bet on this flop is just almost unheard of. And interestingly enough, Cabrell had the ace of spades earlier, which is one of the cards people claim that he marked. He was definitely handling handling the card quite heavily and. If he knows that the other player has the ace of spades and he also knows this player is only going to play ace eight suited so he'll have ace eight of spades, ace eight of hearts, ace eight of diamonds and ace eight of clubs. When there's an eight of spades on the flop and if you know that the player has the ace of spades in their hands well then you know it's impossible for them to have ace eight of spades. So. If you know that, you know he can never have an A here on this flop given that one of his cards is an ace of spades. It allows you to just go bananas with any two cards. I mean, this hand is just so, so strange. To just click it back with a four bet there, it's just, I've never seen it before. It's definitely not proof of cheating, but it's definitely something that should be looked at. It's quite suspicious and quite strange. In another clip here we can see Martin quite clearly staring directly at Brandon Stevens. Cards in the middle of a hand. This was just really unusual. I've never seen this at the table. I've seen people look over at other people's chip stacks but I've never seen someone lean over and directly laser beam their eyeballs straight into their opponent's cards. It's definitely unusual behaviour and I think it's something that definitely needs to be looked at. I don't think it's proof of anything just yet but it's really, really odd. Behaviour was so strange, in fact, that players actively started to cover the cards when they were in hands with Martin, and the WSOP even brought in a rule for the final table stating that players cannot stand up while they were in hands. This was due to players raising concerns about Martin's behaviour. In one such hand, he disobeyed the rules and was called out by Alex Kulev. He's the number one ranked player online in the world. I want to give him a shout out. He's a friend of ours. We used to grind one two together a couple of years ago in Ireland and now he's playing the highest stakes in the world. Absolute emboss, unbelievable players. And he rightly called him out at the table because his behaviour was just so, so strange. Uh oh. Oh boy. He's broken one of the rules. Not allowed to stand up. Is he allowed to do that? With a hand. Why is he allowed to stand up? We were told at the beginning of play that standing up will not be permitted. Cold floor. Bro, <laughs> just folds. It's for you, Martin. What do you have? Pocket force? Bro, you said at the fold. beginning of play that standing up is not permitted, correct? Right, I was telling you to stay in your seat. So. Why you're up and down so I was looking at the stack uh, if it is correct, yeah? Nothing else. I stand for two seconds. I don't know what is this pro guy problem, but I didn't do anything wrong. Dealer but you're not following the rules, that's my problem. Sorry? You're not following the rules. No, that's he was speaking that when we when I use phones we go out of the table. What are you talking about? Are you like are you like sorry? It's not I was only looking at the stack that it's correct, yeah? I, I stand for two seconds. Dealer, can you say what happened please? I it's no no yeah, thank you. It's nothing. Nothing happened. I didn't do anything wrong, or tell me what, what I shouldn't do. He's I don't know. Telling you that you did something wrong. Sorry? He's saying you did something wrong. What, what I did wrong? It was first time today because I wanna double check the. the first time today. I've already been here twice, but still. Okay, uh, please. Can I play the hand now? Is it okay? Can I play the hand? You listen to what I'm saying. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm in. I'm in the hand. Yeah. It's my chance. Uh, time. Yeah. 
So, so what, what I can't do, tell me. I, I, sure, sure. <laughs> there we go. Bob. There is an tell him to scan the cards on his way out. Is this like not normal? Alex, are you like uh, normal? Or what do you say? Or what, what happened? Like, I didn't. Uh, what is this joke, guys? Like, if you want to win like oh, this. Seems like a nice young man. Yeah, beautiful. I don't know what is the problem really with you. Martin's antics at the table are worse than anyone I've played with. Um, people were speculating, like there were a lot of discussions about whether he was marking cards. Um, whether or not that's true, playing with him is unbelievably unpleasant. He's rude. He takes the full 30 seconds every time. And uh, last night playing with him, it felt like something not kosher was going on. Um, can't know for sure, uh, but I think it's ridiculous that he's allowed to play in the tournament. So to wrap up, we have players that played with him in the tournament saying he should be banned. They definitely don't enjoy playing with him. As far as this table talk and antics, I think that's fine. It's in the realms of the game. You're allowed to do that, throw your opponents off. But once we get down the line of cheating, this should not be allowed. I hope that the World Series does a full investigation. See, was he marking cards? He could have been using invisible ink for all we know. So I think definitely a full investigation is required. He definitely displayed a lot of strange behavior and weird antics that I think warrants some sort of investigation or just a deeper dive into this. I think we can't out and out call him a cheater without any definite proof, but I think his behavior and some of the hands he played, some of the stuff he was doing definitely warrants a closer look. So I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think. Do you think he was cheating? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more on this topic or more about the World Series, let me know in the comments below. And as always, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you soon. Peace.